Hello, my YouTube family. I am sweating in every orifice of my body. Let me just let me just point that out right now. The drippings that are coming from my neck into my bra are so annoying. I just wanted to share that with you. Women's issues. <sighs> every orifice of my body, people. I, I don't know if it, if you could see it through this. I'm sweating all over the place. Just all over the place. And hello, how are you doing? <sighs> hello, my YouTube family. Um, yeah, let's let's try to make this quick. But I have to fill you in on my 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 cousin's weekend and everything. And a coworker that left and then came back. Okay. So let us start off with lips of the day. It is a my lips, but better. It's Monday, people. Okay. And what a Monday it was. But it's over now. So let's just let's just move on. Oh, look at this. Flash flood warning. Until 8:45 p.m. Okay. I love the strong people. It alerts me of all sorts of things. I love it. Okay. Um, so, yes, lips of the day. Let us start off with the liner. It is a Milani color statement lip liner in the color cocoa. Lined and filled is a L'Oreal Color Riche La Gloss. Remember these? Obviously, look at the shade. It's a nude. And it is in the shade Skyline Glow. It's kind of like a milky chocolate shade. Very, very sheer. It may not look it, but it just be obviously it goes on. Very sheer. So that's what it is. A nude of all nudes. But very shiny. Could be on the street corner hooker. It's all up to you, people. So that is lips of the day. Sit down. So Friday after work. I could not wait until five o'clock hit. Because I zoomed to the Roosevelt Field Mall. Well, to the Rose to Roosevelt Field, which was where my cousins Eric and Tracy, Tracy came from Florida, came and we met each other there after. You want to talk about going around in circles and circles and circles to try to find a parking spot? I'm for I'm fortunate that I I gave up looking for a spot outside. I finally went in to the underground garage. But thank goodness I didn't have to go levels and levels. I just, I was, I, I was like five, maybe four or five cars in. Found a parking spot. We went to the Grand Lux Cafe. Had ourselves a good old time catching up on the family gossip. And um, afterwards... The movie of choice was Stuber, as I told you before. It really wasn't that bad. I mean, I, I did get a couple of laughs in. It really wasn't that bad. It was it was doable. It wasn't that bad. But then uh, we kind of, oh, I don't know, found ourselves all of a sudden in the movie, um, The Lion King. We just kind of roamed around and, you know, just kind of saw what was playing. It seems to be, that seems to be the theme now. A two movie deal on my birthday celebration. Uh, yeah. So we saw The Lion King which was really good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. 
I mean, the animation is so real. Like, I thought they took real animals and then just kind of made their... Ma no, this is like animated, but not cartoon animated. It's, I don't even know what you call it, CGI? I guess it's CGI now. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. And, I, you know, it was The Lion King. I mean, if you saw the animation, the original... Is it Pixar or Disney? I forget. I think it's Disney. If you saw the original, then you obviously know the whole story. It, it basically is pretty much scene for scene, the, the animation to CGI. It was cute. It was really cute. I enjoyed it. We had a good time. I did not get home until, was it 20 minutes to 3? I think it was 20 minutes to 3 in the morning. My poor baby. I did tell him, though, that mom was coming home late. I think he understood. He understood. He, you know, waited. And um, I, I don't think, did I, when I got home, did I turn on my computer? I don't remember if I turned on my computer or I just went to sleep. I think I just went to sleep. No, I actually did turn on my, my computer. And then I stayed on for maybe 20 minutes and then I went to sleep. So that was Friday. Um, the weekend was a heat wave that even the devil would be afraid of. It was that hot. Like, how hot does it have to be when you are sitting next to the air conditioner and you still sweating? It was that hot this entire weekend. Severe hotness. So I had to constantly make sure that, you know, Tomcat was drinking his share of water and doing all of that. And everybody was taking care of themselves. Pop was drinking his fair share. We had daughter dinner on Saturday, as we always do. Everybody was kind of, you know, taking it easy. Pop didn't go out. And I, I, it's the weekend, people. I really don't go in, out unless I honestly, honestly have to. I wasn't stepping foot. No, wait a minute. No, I take that back. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Like at around 9.15. Like 9.15, 9.30. I wanted to get some, I had, I had a, a craving for uh, Dunkin' Donuts, a bagel, a buttered toasted butter bagel, and an iced chocolate, an iced hot chocolate. People. It was, by the time I got to the Dunkin' Donuts, it was about maybe quarter to ten. It had to be a thousand degrees by the time I got there. Like, it was already that hot. And I said, oh, hell to the no. This is not going to do, I am not going to do jack nothing. I'm actually surprised I actually got the laundry done on Sunday. Because it was a heat wave from Friday into the weekend. Like today, I think it broke. But broke nothing because it was still 90-something degrees. So, dare I say that um, after I had done the laundry, I stayed up, you know, because it's a two-family house, I stayed up on my level. I walked around this apartment, I'm not going to say butt naked, uh, but um, I was roaming free. Okay, let me just put it that way. It was too hot to put on any damn thing, people. Any damn thing. I was roaming around up here in this apartment freely. Adam and Eve would have been proud. Hot as hell. AC, fan, lowering the lights. Drinking tons of water. It was just, it was just too much. 
It was just, it was just it was just too much. So that was the weekend. I come to work on Monday today, and it's a regular busy ass weekend. Rude ass people. You know how it is on Mondays. But an old coworker of months ago that left this place has decided to come back. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is that made him come back. I'm, I'm never going to know the details. It's none of my business, whatever. But they must have offered him something other than what he was uh, originally paid in order to come back. You came back. You're the one that left. You quit. And now you're coming back. And they accepted you back? That's how desperate this place is. They'll even take old people. Now, just as long as they don't take, um, what was her name? Miss, what's her, what, what was her face? I hope she's gone for good. I don't need to have her come back. Like, why would you come back? You mean to tell me all that time that you were out, you couldn't find another job? You came back? There has to be a really good reason why he came back. I don't know what it is. Maybe it'll uh, it'll cross my desk eventually. I'm not going to ask him, why the hell did you come back? It, like, why did you come back? Because when he left, I don't think he really left on good terms with Queen of Darkness. But here he is. I was wondering why he, he was coming to visit and coming to visit and coming to visit. Like, why do you come and visit your old place that you quit? I even posted on Facebook, like, why would you come back? There's obviously a reason why he was doing that. I guess he was testing the waters. And um, today, I guess, was his first day back in action at the same position that you were in before. I'm sure not for the same money, but even if it is for the same money, why are you coming back? When I leave a place, I leave a place. Of course, most of the places I, I, I get fired. That's neither here nor there. Even if I was to just leave, why would I go back? So, that's a big question mark over my head every time I see him. Like, I'm sure he probably sees it on my face. Like, what? Why are you back? Not that I'm not happy to see him. I always liked him. He's funny. And, you know, there was never any ill will. He's in another department anyway, and I'm the receptionist, so... But like, why? And I know he had issues with Queen of Darkness once upon a time. Did he forget? Did he forget that he had issues? Queen of Darkness is a person that you really don't forget that quickly, that easily. I don't know what the deal is. I, when I know, I'll let you guys know, of course. So that basically covers everything. I had a fantastic belated birthday celebration with my cousins. It was just too much fun. Um, catching up on family gossip. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Family gossip and um, two movies. And uh, at least it was Friday. Last year when we did the two movie thing, I still had to go to work that following Friday. But at least this time we did the two movies and it was on a Friday. So I didn't care. I couldn't care less at what time we left the movie theater or whatever. If the sun was coming up, I couldn't have cared less. I just went to sleep. Went to sleep at like, like I said, I, I probably went to sleep at about quarter to three or maybe three o'clock in the morning. And I woke up at eight anyway. So, 
Oh, excuse me. I can't seem to sleep any later than five hours now. I used to be eight to ten hours. I used to sleep like a cat. Seriously. But I guess the older you get, the less sleep you need, or you just, you just, you know, your body just wakes up whenever it wakes up. So now it's like five hours and that's it. And so that is that with that upon that, people, this is it. It is too, it's too hot. It's too hot. And this is lips of the day. This, it's kind of difficult with this particular shade since it's my lip color. But it does tend to fade. It really does. And it fades fast. And I'm not happy about that. But I do love the shade. I love the shade. Love it, love it, love it. Ever so. It's like, it's my skin tone. It really is. But maybe if I put a, a lipstick on the bottom and then top it with this, like a combo, maybe that will make it last a little bit longer. Um, I should try that. I should try a combo with this. Um... I'll have to remember that I'll have a com uh, I'll have to do a combo with this. So that's basically it, people. That is it. That is all I need to. Um, I may walk around the apartment again, very Adam and Eve like, again. I mean, they said that the heat wave broke. It broke where? Where did it break? It's still very hot. It really is not as hot, and I think. It's getting kind of dark outside, so it's. I think there's a thunderstorm that's going to. I don't know if it's going to cool things off, but I think there's there's a storm a brewing. So we shall see how that lingers, because there's it was supposed to rain today, and then the rain was supposed to stop tomorrow, early morning or early afternoon. We shall see. We'll see what we see. Okay, people. So that is it. That is all. I think I have actually filled you in on everything and um yeah that's it that's all i love you i love my youtube family hit me up let me know what you think my lips were better i guess i don't know and i will as you can see the hair is up it had to be people it had to be it was up all weekend saturday not saturday friday when i went to go see my cousins it was down but it was bothering me so much that I pinned it up and it's been up ever since. So, yeah, I guess you're going to be used to this for a while. At least it's not the headbands yet. Okay. So, that's it. That's all. This is Lips of the Day. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything that I've been talking about. And I will talk to you tomorrow okay one down and four more to go okay i love you Mwah. bye now